And Chamina joins us finally once again for our ins and outs segment. Today we have a young artist, 14 years old, by the name of Connie Talbot. Mina, good morning. Good morning. Yes, today I'm very happy to introduce Connie Talbot. She's only 14 years old, yet she's making headlines all over because she made a recent visit to Korea where she held a concert and all the proceeds, she announced, will be going towards uh, contributing to the ongoing relief and search efforts over in Chindo Island mm -hmm. for mm -hmm. those victims in these Hewar Ferry disasters. So it's big news and she was in the country for a brief visit for that. Um, and and she also got to do some fun things while she was here too. So we're going to be following her during her journey and trip in Korea. Let's take a closer look. The little girl who once appeared on the British television talent show competition, What's Britain's Got Talent. Connie. How old are you, Connie? Six. Although it was a short debut performance, six-year-old Connie Talbot instantly touched the hearts of many and rose to international fame despite her young age. Her 2007 debut album was certified by the Guinness Book of World Records as the youngest artist to ever receive a gold record. She was very well received during her last visit to Korea and 2008, and six years later, she drew more attention for her visit on April 20th. This is because of a Twitter message she posted. Connie Talbot announced that she would donate all the proceeds from her Korea concert to the victims and recovery efforts of the ferry idea accident. As well, and my mom and dad agreed to the idea as well. We watched it on the TV at home, and it was really such a sad time. We felt really, really, really sorry for all the people who was on the ferry and the families. If we could help in any sort of way, that would be great. Her performance on the 23rd was very well received. Connie Talbot did not fail to mention this Hewarho ferry during her performance. However, due to the sad, really, really sad times here um, and the tragic that happened, um, we thought it was best to swap the song to another song. And with that, she offered comfort for the grieving country through her music. It was really touching and meaningful. We're really thankful and admire her for donating all that money for others, even at such a young age. After her concert, she said there is a place she wants to visit before leaving the country. Um, I wanted to visit the space and <laughs> the observatory. I like to go in the cable cars up to the mountains and um, go, go on the telescopes. <laughs> the British singer got a chance to see the observatory with her friend, Jordan Jansen, something she really wanted to do here. <laughs> oh, it's amazing. <laughs> I'm scared. <laughs> She enjoyed the digital planetarium most of all, where you can experience space through 3D videos. <laughs> and it looks like Connie Talbot is in the midst of falling stars. It was a special event prepared just for her, and it looks like she really enjoyed it. The two are now going to explore the stars that fill the night sky through the observatory. As the roof slowly opens, a beautiful view is unveiled. Exactly. 
and it's like watching her enjoy the wonders of the universe universe shows that without a doubt she is a 14 year old teenager after all maybe but her laughter is cut short as she folds her hands together to say a little prayer um i pray for the victims on the february and their families as well Connie Talbot shares the pain with others despite being in a different country. The song that she prepared to console a grieving Korea begins to ring throughout the observatory. Those listening to her song are touched as if the lyrics represent the heart of the Korean people right now. I, I don't think there's much to say. I, I really can't help in any way, but may just God bless you and um, maybe one day happiness will come their way again. Connie Talbot with her voice that lifts souls and hearts the Korean people will not be able to forget the message of hope and comfort she offered. And with this, everyone sends a message of thanks to the British singer, hoping that the next time she visits the country, her fans will have something to smile about. And those lyrics when she said, I'm sorry we couldn't get to you, it's like how Koreans feel about the victims on that Seoro ferry. Uh, accident and she's only 14 years old but she is so considerate and mature right. she really has a heart of gold mm -hmm. I think yeah and I think the whole country really saw that she is truly beautiful inside and out she really moved concert goers with her music and I think she gained a lot more media attention as well mm -hmm. from that and being that she is very young people are thinking you know how did she get started with music and it wasn't just a passion for music that she had it started actually with her mother she wanted to support her mother at a young age at the age a uh, very young age of six mm -hmm. uh, her mother was grieving over a loss of her own when her grandmother passed away mm -hmm. so uh, dealing with loss and uh, a loss in the family especially mm -hmm. I think she's able to relate to uh, Korean people right now as well mm -hmm. right. and I heard that her dream isn't just about becoming a singer, being a singer. Right, absolutely. I mean, being on this huge talent show, the uh, Britain's Got Talent, you think, oh, well, she wants to be in entertainment. But actually, her dream is to be a doctor mm. who also sings. Uh -huh. So <laughs> someone who heals uh, others. Through music, maybe? Through music, yeah, mm -hmm. I guess you could say. I think she's on her way or on the right track and has fulfilled her her dream part of it by performing in Korea and bringing and consoling uh, right. the hearts of Koreans I'm sure those here. people who were at the concert felt consoled, were consoled when she sang those songs. It was beautiful. It was beautiful. Mm -hmm. It was very nice. But uh, we've seen some Korean celebrities make some donations and make uh, efforts as well. But uh, following uh, uh, Connie's uh, efforts and what she did, I understand that there's other artists, both uh, local and abroad, that are pitching in. Absolutely, yeah. Connie is one artist from abroad who has contributed in efforts that are ongoing to help the victims as well as recovery operations. A lot of local stars also we're seeing made donations, whether it be anonymously or uh, through the uh, news outlets that are reporting mm -hmm. them. Uh, one we saw was a Japanese figure skater, mm -hmm. uh, Miki Ando, and uh -huh. she wrote a handwritten letter as well as donated $1,000 as part of her recovery efforts. Also, we saw other donations pour in from a uh, celebrity uh, uh, Chu Sung Hoon, uh -huh. and he is the mixed martial artist who stars in an entertainment television show here. Yeah. And he donated fifty thousand dollars on behalf of his family. YG Entertainment's Yang Hyun Suk also donated five hundred thousand dollars to recovery operations, and he made the announcement saying that, as a parent himself, he truly does feel for the victims, and he made the donation through his charitable arm under mm -hmm. his agency. Yeah. Right. So it does 
doesn't have to be only with money or with donations. A lot of people are sending their thoughts and prayers, and there's an online memorial altar set up as well. Right. I mean, you can make contributions in a variety of ways, not just through monetary donations. You can go on site, you can volunteer, or you can pay respects at the Ansan Memorial, for instance. But for some who can't make it out there, uh, you know, there are there is a long line there, as you mentioned mm -hmm. earlier in the show. Um, there is a uh, there is an online memorial altar that's been set up by a Korean portal site, and they offer a chance for people to leave messages mm -hmm. and leave virtual flowers, I guess you could say. And it is truly meaningful, uh, whether you do it on site or through online for those people who still want to uh, pay respects. You can do that online as well. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right, so several different options um, that are for the people who cannot make it. All right, so um, thank you for that report. Uh, but you. how can other people join us on our segment Ins and Outs? Right, well, Ins and Outs, we're always uh, trying to find new guests for this segment. And anyone who has been living in Korea for up to six months, more than six months, a foreigner who wants to try out something different in Korean culture, you're more than welcome to sign up or register on our message board. You can go by uh, getting on our website, arirang.co.kr. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you, Mina, for this story. Thank you so much for having me. All right, that's just about wraps up this edition of Korea Today. Thank you for joining us on this Monday morning, and we'll see you back here tomorrow morning at 7 a.m. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.